Snacks and Gamer Legion can perform in this longer series versus phase. Oof. It's a big headshot for Rain, still standing for the time being, but not for long. Isaac's going to finish off the job there, looking for more now. Kerrigan will deal with him. Bomb planted, fast moving round on Ancient. More headshots to be delivered. Twist and Rops remain versus Vault and Snacks. All very capable. Vault dancing behind a narrow pillar, spotting Rops, going for that burst fire. Back to single. They're wondering where Snacks is. Hiding in the back. Big headshot for Twist, but he's still standing. He's got all the info now. Snacks trying to isolate the fights as best he can. Quick reload for him. Twist is the man with the kit. He's also the man with 5 HP. Rops is going to try and keep Snacks off the angle, but the angle he will find. And that might just be enough now. All he has to do is stay alive. And this pistol is with Gamer Legion. Snacks coming through for Gamer Legion early in this one. They take that pistol with the B play. And they went for that B play. Which has been gone for by a lot of teams here on these pistol rounds. But you see that FaZe were pretty well prepared for it. They had players ready. They had the rotate ready. Not enough though in the two on two. Very well played in the end by Snacks. Rops just can't cover his teammate, the low health player defusing, and so Snacks realizes he can just play for time. A little dance of happiness from Kios early in this one. As you said, FaZe out for revenge. This would be the time to do it, but not off to a good start here. Gamer Legion win the pistol on their map pick, and they should have a pretty easy time in this one. Not too much danger in terms of these pistols. Carrigan's got the Deagle. P250 here, a P250 there. USP for Rain, though. That'll be enough. Ever capable. Daddy Rain. They've lost two players now. Gamer Legion. This will be encouraging for FaZe. Karakun with the Galil. How much do they have to lose in this one? 1v3. The more damage, the better. Now his position has been revealed. That is another failed grenade. It's quite the catalogue of failed grenades that we have <laughs> in this tournament so far. No judging, though. Because it's a whole new world. Do you want to sing that? No. Looking at Disney, no? Nah, no, nah, not me. All right. Got to pay for that. Yeah, I could start for Gamer Legion. I, I think here, FaZe coming into this one have had a lot of close games. It has to be said. And... They're looking pretty good. I've really enjoyed seeing Rain adapt to the new game. I think he's had some good performances. Meanwhile, on the Gamer Legion side, it's been pointed out Vault has had a fantastic tournament so far. I think he's someone that's got a lot of potential on Gamer Legion. I'm glad to see he's starting to realize it on this squad now. Snacks also being brought into the mix has added a bit of extra fragging output as the in-game leader compared to Neelan. And here comes that first gun round then for FaZe. Straight into the bomb side. The numbers game is here, but Carrigan gets two. That's exactly the other performance he needed to keep his team in this game. And it gets even better for them. Brokey dropping Kios, making it a three versus two before that bomb blood comes in. And he's got more to do. This surge hasn't quite worked out for the squad. 1v3 for Isaac, waiting for that rotation to come in. Rops' timing looks good, though. No kit for these three players. Could be one on the site. Rops will solve the problem, though. Great burst from him. Love the confidence from Rops. Never too many bullets, just enough. And FaZe will find an early first round. Early enough, anyway. One to two. Bomb plant for Gamer Legion. Yeah, well denied by FaZe, though. Love seeing Carrigan here get these first couple of kills. Just no real utility, really just a pack mentality. So important that you get a double spray early like that from Carrigan. Sets FaZe up on the front foot, allows them to succeed in those trades. And definitely nice for FaZe to see Carrigan delivering and performing in that round because his stats haven't been too good so far at this event. So we have a brief pause in play. The, the brief mention of the 120 FPS. But I'm not here to roast the devs, just to point out that they should be targeting 300, let's say. Absolutely. What's this smoke from Isaac? He's not just inspecting the shrubbery. 
He's got a line up here. Looks like that will be over towards the B side of the map, but that looks like a big old fake from Game Allegiant. Bomb is still outside A. That was the smoke from Isaac. Trying to cut off that cave area. I don't know if FaZe are falling for this fake right now, though. Carrigan's got a kill. They seem to have denied that push. And that means Twist can hang around at mid here. Will he look away towards A, though? Maybe not because Rox has got long covered. There'll be problems at A then. Rops will have to hold his position. Brokey's rotating over quickly, and Rain's going to be on the flank as well. And as things start to go wrong on the bomb site, okay, I can't even finish my sentence. They all get wiped out very promptly indeed. Talk about a shutdown. Tied score early. Yeah, damn. That looked like the final boss on Takeshi's castle right there. They didn't land a single shot. That was impossible mode, it seemed like. That is a cool smoke, I gotta say, trickling through. I don't know how useful it's gonna be in general rounds. Yeah, look at this, Brokey arriving, spots one man, pulling a nade out, Rops with an easy spray. And signs of frustration already on the faces of Gamer Legion. They knew that that was an important round because now they have basically oh nothing. Oh my word. Those two mollies, that HE, that was sublime. A fast eco round is a good one. My word, we've seen so many fast rounds in general, be it full bio or eco, but that one was super brief. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And if you haven't caught much CS2, if you haven't seen an ancient game, it is much easier now for the CTs to control mid early. And that is having all sorts of implications. It's allowing the CTs to sometimes just use mid to go down towards B lane from mid and really have a threshold on that area of the map. Looks like in this one, Gamer Legion have something set out of spawn. Everyone grouped to A, but there is a one-two punch ready on the hold for FaZe in Rops and Brokey. Both teams holding grenades. One to start, one to respond. Do we get counter util from FaZe here? They've got a lot of nades on them here. What's the timing like though? Yeah, Brokey's been bin holding that flash. In he goes there, Rops is gonna get all the information. Grabs two, spots someone to kill Cam as well. Oh, Brokey may have lost position. No, he hasn't. Delivers critically onto Kios. Great work from FaZe. The A bomb site is not open for business. It has been lethal. And Game of Legion have been on the receiving end. Three more for Snacks, makes no assumptions. Rain's creeping behind. With a superior angle, three stand at the end of the round for FaZe as they press on then. Four to two. Quick turnaround on Ancient. Yeah, Game of Legion should have checked the dress code ahead of time there. No tease welcome on this bomb site. And I'm loving this from FaZe. This looks like a FaZe that have done their homework and uh, going for these active plays, ready to counter these plays from Gamer Legion. And a criticism people have had of FaZe in the past is that they were a little too defaulty, a little too standard sometimes. Well, that's a round where they have a beautiful counter set up with the utility. And here is that mid play. Rops can peek right down into B early, see that that's clear. And that will give early warning to the A-sided players that they might need to be ready. Carrigan quickly over towards A. The Org might be the right tool. They'll want to keep the distance if they can because of these Tech Nines. Five Tech Nines on road. And with enough flashes, they might just be able to close that distance. They've got the smokes for it as well. And they start to sail in then. Twist and Rops waiting in mid. There'll be smokes in that donut position to try and isolate the rotation. But can they find any mileage with these Tech Nines? They're the chain flashes, but they're still looking for a quick frag. Denied by the choke point. They'll have to take evasive action. A gamble then, a gamble sends towards B. Moving through mid as well, but Twist has gone through their smoke. They'll think better of that. But FaZe have had the time to reposition. They're looking strong in these early rounds. Yeah, Twist realizes no need to be in the middle of mid. Don't want to give away your gun. Don't want to have no cover. 30 seconds, Snacks falls, and now it is all about the mid move from Game of Legion, but that's a great angle from Twist, an easy cleanup. They are looking locked in right now. Finally, a frag for Game of Legion, but the last couple of rounds, 
They've barely been finding any kills. It has been convincing round wins for FaZe's CT side. That slight trigger discipline from Twist was so good as well. He understands that three remain. You could try and land a shot or two on the back of that first player or just crushed around by picking up the ones behind him. Testament to a high skilled player. FaZe just look one step ahead right now in almost every round. They're denying the early moves from Gamer Legion. What's the adaptation like? Molly was just amused at mid, so Gamer Legion know that FaZe can't have moved up from mid towards B. That's going to allow them to challenge Cheetah more aggressively. Brokey with a warning shot there, lands it through the door. It's an important 5 on 4 for Gamer Legion. Volk still holding some map control as Rop starts to lurk. And he'll be punished just as I say that. Now the map is wide open. And Game Edition could cut noise if they want to spread these CTs out. You have to wonder what the gamble will be like for FaZe now. Three on five. Do you bunch together? There's no real good option for them at this point. Rain at the back of B. Carrigan has done great work on B so far. But he's got nothing else to say about this round. Risk has to be taken here by FaZe, down three on five. And Twists almost gets the chance for a one-on-one -on -one fight. But Bolt will now sit back. Bit of info for his team. Molly in from Rain allows him to reposition with 40 seconds remaining. He's calling for reinforcements as well, but these smokes are going to make life awkward for FaZe here. How much more do you want to lose? A great flick from Brokey, but that is impressive smoke. He's the only one standing for the squad now. How has he only taken 10 damage from that grenade? That is a dud. Game of Legion with good position. This has been a pricey round for FaZe. Rops though, almost got 11k in the bank. They'll be fine for a buy, whether they hold this AWP or not. Yeah, they know it's an AWP, and he actually only has two bullets as well. So got to be efficient here, Brokey, to try and save. Now, that will not be allowed. Vault has him locked in. Important reaction, important adjustment there from Gamer Legion. I do wonder what the snipers feel about the sound of scoping in CS2, because it doesn't sound satisfying to True. me. True. And it's not, I'm not saying it's bad because it's change. Changes can often be good, but it just doesn't feel satisfying. It doesn't feel sexy. There's not an urgency to it, like the, the sound of the scope in CSGO, where you're like, oh, let me find something. You want to get some big action. It just feels a bit eh. like a wheel turning on a on a toy robot or something. I don't know. Don't like it. Anyway. Look at the setup from FaZe. Three players positioned around mid. That means Rain is alone on B right now. Urgency rising. He has to put that smoke down, but Gamer Legion might go through this. They keep playing the same song. Not bored of it just yet. more util for them. A lot of mollies for Gamer Legion to deploy here as well, but Brokey will find something through the smoke, and that will encourage the squad. This bomb site is surrounded. Rops on a late lurk once again. Kiel's dancing around these flames, but again, there's so many mollies to come. As the smokes will go, angles, opportunity arises for phase. Four on three, kit on half the squad. Acor, quite a fast sniper. Has a good angle versus Brokey. There are other players to draw his attention as well. Looking for the flick a little too early on that one, and down he goes. Snacks and Isaac remain. Isaac with angles. Doesn't have one for the bomb, though. Through the smoke goes Carrigan. Is anyone defusing? They're not. The molly will be a determining factor, and off they go. FaZe will lose a lot in this round. Oh. Ah, let's go. Everyone dies with the bomb, and Gamer Legion win a big round. And that was brilliantly played by Snacks. Rops was trying to flank all the way from mid, and Rops was doing Rops things. Aggressors again in the conversation earlier this week before the matches had begun. He's very confident in, in his expectations. Let's we'll see if he can deliver on phase once again. Smoke from Carrigan, that's not what he wants because this is a fast play again and the flash is too good. Sending it into B once more. Safety in numbers for Gamer Legion. Can Rain escape this position? He can't. Kios drops him. Brokey's close. The rest of his team are not. And again, I wonder, even if he does find something here, does that just encourage the team to get close enough to lose all of their weapons? 
It just got re-smoked. And that play from Snacks again in enemy lines. If Snacks played TF2, he'd be the spy for sure. Always in behind you. Looks like Gamer Legion are trying to hunt even. They've got players over on A right now, but Brokey's hanging around. He doesn't have a kit here. Just looking for damage by the looks of things. He's found one. Oh, he is going to tap that bomb, trying to bait them in. But Izak will get the frag. Maybe hoping Gamer Legion die to the bomb. Yeah, he may have felt like he was going down with the sword one way or another. Tried to cut the losses and squeeze whatever he could out of that one. Just the MP9 saved by the CT. Score is tied then. 5-5. Five, five. This has been a very popular bomb site game. But not many bombers can do that. Either way, FaZe have to go for the half buy in this one. They will be hoping for either a miracle in this or a sick round in the last one. And that Molly early forces Carrigan into the waiting arms of Kios. The shadows on Ancient, man. The shadows are scary. Seen that betray people a couple of times. Oh, the whiffs come through. FaZe have got a chance at this round now. That gun's recoverable. Wasn't the result people were expecting. There are smokes here for Gamer Legion, but I feel like FaZe will be growing with danger. Great flashbang. If he goes after Rain, though, surely he's done for Twist. Oh, boy. Thank so, yeah. you for playing. 3v2, Gamer Legion taking control once again. Brokey down to 16 HP with that Desert Eagle. And Rob's with that saved weapon from the previous round. He's got his money together with the team, so he could go for this. Of course, it is... Um, <coughs> excuse me, absolutely not in his favor. Moment for reflection then. Yeah. Got to say, Gamer Legion have adjusted really well here because it was clear that FaZe had done a lot of homework. They're throwing a few different setups into the mix. I think because it's Gamer Legion's pick, FaZe are just trying to throw curveballs at them. And at first, those curveballs were getting through. But as you said earlier, Snacks, definitely an in-game leader who looks like he can adapt mid-half. You always know Rops is going to want to eke everything out. Yeah. It doesn't look like you'll get that AK. Going to hop up and try and retrieve it afterwards. Yes, there nice. we go. Nice work. Again, these larger explosions are very dangerous indeed. Gamer Legion back in the lead then. Six to five. As we head into the last round of the first half. Neck and neck. And the orbs come out. Don't think we've seen them up until this point at all, but both sides have a sniper for the last round of the first half. We saw Acor briefly. Oh, yeah, right. Post plant, quick flick, mixed results. Twist sending Boy. it in mid. A rise of M4A4s over the, uh, well, maybe not over the silence, but we've seen an increase. Silence therefore has been very popular thus far. Almost a trade there. Vault able to escape of 16 HP. They found a lot of mileage in those M4A4s so far on his CT side, though. Again, Carrigan with those multi-frags early were very key for the success that FaZe were able to find. Maybe there's a bit more in this half for them. See how impressive that mid control can be. Twist can just peek down into B, and now FaZe have a crossfire on this B lane area, allowing FaZe to lock out the B side of the map entirely. So how did Gamer Legion get back into this round? Maybe they need a contact play out, eh? Isaac's hunting, but there's no one to be hunted here right now. Brokey's playing an extremely passive angle with that AWP. And the bomb is still staying back at B. I think it will rotate back round now, but Brokey's position looks so good. Not a fight that Isaac can win. And Gamer Legion... Really working with scraps at this point in the last round of this half. Rob senses something. Spidey senses tingling. It will be 6-6 six, six at half time as well. And FaZe look like they're going to take a strat out of Gamer Legion's book from their pistol and send it over to B. Oh, my. Volt just took them in the face and off he goes. Same for Snacks as well. Revenge to be had by the likes of FaZe. 
so much pressure on this bomb site. Isaac can just take a bath then, hold on to his Kevlar. Because his team were given absolutely nothing in this round. Admire the water, the bricks, the woods, the plants, the foliage, if you will. Hunt from Carrigan then. And he gets nothing either. That is an angry phase coming in for the second pistol. A wonderful start. Speaking of threats as well. Very nice half for Brokey coming into this one with 12 frags on the board. As for Acor though, didn't quite get started with that AWP, but now he's got the luxury of the CT side angles. Maybe he'll come to life and be a deciding factor on this map. That question is how long will it take for him to get that AWP out after a convincing pistol for phase? I think a lot of teams are running that B play. Worst case scenario, you're probably going to get a bomb farm with those smokes down, which is still a pretty good position. Oh, that nade. Close, but no cigar. We've got the silenced T-side gun. You know what I'm talking about. The MP5 Alpha Rain. Not going to blend in any more Game Allegiant. At least it's harder to, I feel, in CS2. Oh, man. Well... In some, in some places, yes. Sometimes, yes. Sometimes, no. There was a great screenshot from mid on Inferno. With a... <coughs> excuse me. With a T standing in the crawl space. I think it was called Spot the T or something. Or Spot the Player. And it took me about 20 seconds to finally figure out where that guy was standing. Where are the Arctic Avengers, by the way? I've been waiting for them for ages. There's even stickers of the Arctic Avengers... That would make me play Dust too. Get the Arc Arctic Avengers on there again. And maybe I could be persuaded to venture back onto that map. Game nice of Legion one. dispatched of early. They didn't really invest into that round. Now things will get started for them. Uh, I think it's important for teams to stay disciplined in those rounds against USPs. You can quite easily lose more players than you would expect. So when you get the bomb down for free, no need to risk trying to hunt. Carrigan with the MAC-10 got a couple of kills, though, which is always nice for the bank balance. And here comes that buy from Game Allegiant. Acor going for the org over on the A site. Looks like Game Allegiant haven't thrown that early smoke on mid from Spawn. Kios will do it on the fly instead. Oh, that nade is going to work nicely. Kios only good for one. Surprise! You thought you could stand next to the smoke. Denied. 4-4 four four favors Faze with so much time on the clock. Game of Legion spread thin then. Isaac spotting mid from the back from that red room. Just trying to keep an eye on things. Rops getting his lurk on as per usual. Have a look at the crosshair placement. Showing presence. Got to be really careful about these peaks, Isaac. Only takes the one shot. 59 seconds on the clock as rain starts to creep in then. Bolt on an island. Drowned Ooh. very quickly indeed. Great spatial awareness. Good angles from rain. That's More or less closing out this Ooh. round and Brokey will confidently dispatch of Acor. Bomb or no bomb. Instant trade and there's so much firepower on this server. Yeah, I should not have questioned Brokey with the guarantees for the buy rounds with MR12. I would do it. I'm sure I'll be the only person who would. I do do it. Always have. But the urgency to, to just start off in the right way. So high at the moment. Game Allegiant with a significant investment in this round. These five sevens, honestly, their value has risen this week. The importance of these half buys or force buys, very, very high. A calls rolling with a with a Zeus. Almost said a juice. There he is. Inspectable. Wonder when we'll get skins for the Zeus. Oh, no skin left for A court. But again, still a dangerous round, creeping close with the 5-7, dodging the flashbang. Carrigan putting in work on the B-bomb site once again. Isaac left of the MP9. 
way too many eyeballs on that skin. Consider me uncomfortable. He's watching you. This could get really uncomfortable then for Gamer Legion. This is what we've been talking about. Even with a close half, if you lose the pistol, lose the first gun round, there's no room for error. They're going to be facing a 10-6 deficit. And that doesn't put FaZe too far away from a steal of a map against Gamer Legion on the pick of Gamer Legion. And then this series becomes all sorts of problem for Gamer Legion. Isaac seeing what he can do. But FaZe have exited elsewhere. Economy management, important. And again, FaZe making sure they hold on to four guns. It's going to put them in great shape with their money. 61.50 for Acor. The AWP will be coming out, I'm sure. And he needs to find impact with that immediately. That will partly depend on the rounds that FaZe run as well, though. Let's not forget how many rounds Gamer Legion just sent it into that B-bomb site. Smoke executes and flashbangs. Only so much you can do with an AWP in that regard. Let's see where Acor goes. No one towards A immediately. A zero two three setup for Gamer Legion. Isaac will offer some utility towards mid, then go back towards that A bomb site. And indeed, Acor is looking for something. And now, FaZe have cheaply found the location of that sniper rifle. Does he stay or does he go? It's going to allow them to take mid with these smokes coming up. Kios being watched for not any longer, but Rops is there behind, and Carrigan wants to find a gap. Should have heard that rotation from Acor. Is he still ready? The shadow betrays him. And so it's back to even numbers. That is a sick angle, Shadow's considered. Even conceding your position with sound. Game of Legion after a, uh, a rough swing in mid, turning things around. Snack spots the bomb, expecting some support somewhere, surely. Rops in the meantime knows that he's cleared out the A bomb site. Look at his urgency there. Still though, Brokey's in a dicey situation. And now he's even more alone. Vault in that mid position will drop that bomb. And Rops' play towards A may not pay off after all. Finds himself in a 1v3. They know where he is roughly. Nice peek onto Acor, but he'll deliver that frag. Can see how important that round was for Gamer Legion. And for Faye, still plenty of chances. Their money is still strong for this one. But yeah, these shadows, especially on Ancient, they can be brutal. You've got to really learn those because otherwise you could be walking into your doom. And then in the three-on-three, three, you saw Twist feel like he just had to get active. He was put in a really awkward spot because Brokey on that bomb was in a precarious position. They're unable to go together. Here's Carrigan upping the pace to be able to try and storm mid. Oh, great angle from Carrigan. He hits the headshot. He's having such a good game. But again, no sounds. Maybe unclear if that's the sound of people burning or the smoke. Gamer Legion trying to fight their way back into this one. Twist waiting for them and punishing. Now eventually someone's going to have to go towards A for the CTs. Wonderful stuff. Snacks just waiting in that corner. Tying up the numbers. Acor playing at distance with the, with the AWP. Looking through A. Full stack of util for him also. And again, these mollies are so big. Even if he gets smoked off, if he's got a lineup to buy some time and thwart a, a plant, that could be something. But he's heading towards mid. He's wondering what's happening there. Clearing it w along with snacks. There's got to be a prompt response now. They know no one's there. Back towards A he goes. Vaults on the rotation as well. 40 seconds on that clock. Acor holding his angles. Oh. Plant begins. Flashbang for Vault to swing. Let's see how they can use that Utah. Snacks is on a big flank and distraction will be run. Twist drops from the back. Brokey and Rops have got so many compromised angles now. How do they come out on top here? Multiple smokes and the molly. They could throw beyond it. They understand the urgency, the desperation. Brokey's been heard by Acor, who's looking for and misses the shot though. Into Vault he goes, down to a two on two. Rops trying to find a way to do something. I think he's getting hit by a molly there. 
This one's very, very nervous for both squads now. A Snacks finds a way to deliver onto Brokey and Rops doesn't have the angle. The defuse is coming through. That one was terrifyingly nervous for both squads. Yeah, that got so... Even in an intense game like this one. Spot at the quarterfinals on the line. Ali Aggression coming out from Game Allegiant. Smoke has calmed down into the B doors. Flashes to follow. Looks like they will send this. And the T side quite often having to give up this control. FaZe happy to leave it for now. Acor still focused on A. Look at this proactive rotation from Game Allegiant. Isaac will go to join him. He's got a HE in the hole as well. Props just lurking for the time being. Faze waiting out these grenades. They've cut noise completely. They could emerge anywhere. They could have a prod towards mid. Kiels will cover Vault's back. That setup is quite important. 56 seconds now. What is the play from Faze? Vault showing presence. Who starts to move first? That clock is going to move first into Game Allegiance's favor, really. Still waiting for this pop flash. Kiels, here's the sounds. Vault has retracted. No frags to be had for FaZe just yet. That flash could be key, though. Oh, it doesn't win that duel. Rops will have some sounds on to Isaac. We'll hear him rotating. If he starts to run, he's going to stand his ground. No, he's got three coming his way, and that means trouble towards this bomb site. Acor delivers onto one, but there are so many people coming his way. A smoke to try and make some space for himself. He has to stay alive. He needs rotation. He needs help, and he needs it now. Trying to just stay alive. Realizes he can't deny that bomb. Rops was making noise there, which made Acor uncomfortable, and Rops still playing on the edge of this box. Biding his time as Snacks moves in. Rops his angle. Looked good, but look at the reaction. Snacks with a snappy headshot. And FaZe are all back in Donut, but there's no smoke to cut off the angle and no real time. Gamer Legion have got to get on this soon. Tap to the bomb. Forces a peek from FaZe. But they look comfortable, and Gamer Legion look like they have to save. It is FaZe up to 11. That's a very smart withdrawal from Gamer Legion. Just saw the defuse kick committed in Donut. The worst possible position, all things considered. No real way for them to win that round. 19 times out of 20 from that spot, I think. A lot of it with the rifle as well. And again, Game of Legion are throwing that smoke from spawn. They're just going for the molly instead. Smoke deployed now. Phase currently grouped outside A. What does Kiel's want to get up to in this smoke? Oh, he's heard him. Oh, I think he was maybe trying to... Let's not forget, there was a smoke there previously. Phase dropped a... A smoke grenade, a, a grenade in it. Had a smoke wipe, looked towards mid, maybe trying to play against that, but Twist takes nothing for granted. Outsmarts Gamer Legion early. Yeah, that's why it's worth just putting that one shot into the smoke. Sound cues give the game away. Flash into mid, Acor blind and forced back. More utility coming, so he has to concede his position. Although a counter molly was deployed, so Acor can still get an angle here. Positioning for a split. They've got to deal with Acor though. He's got very impressive angles he can post up with. Smoked off for the time being. Volt pulling away from mid, heading towards an A bomb site. And Swiss is lurking. Rops of a nice shot. But Acor is still active. We said he needed to be, and he certainly is in the clutch now. Our game of Legion 2 on 3. The bomb falling back. But that could be heard by Acor. He's got the sound cues. Look at Twist's position though. That would have stopped the rotation from Vault towards CT. Through mid he goes, but Rain is waiting for him, and he will contain him. That's a very strong round from FaZe as they move to game points. Fantastic mid-round read as well. They realize that B side is going to be completely clear. We've got the position to cut off the rotations. And they... Fast from FaZe, all out to A. Very fast indeed. Is it the right tool for the job? Great first attempt from Isaac. Trying to isolate the fight, but he can't hold on. That's going to give some more space now as Kios needs some close quarters action. Ooh. 
Look at a long range headshot from Rain though, but Acor is here. He's found himself another up, and we've got ourselves a three on three. Meat shots from Snacks. Nice upgrade for him as well as they try to get that bomb planted, but not in time. Brokey in the clutch, 1v3. He's got two thirds of the info at the very least. Acor standing in the flames. He will fall to Brokey, but Volt's there to pick it up. They're not done with this one just yet. They need three from three, but they are still standing, Game of Legion. Yeah, Isaac did a real solid job with the counter utility there. Allowed him to isolate the fight onto Carrigan early. Just enough of a delay so that Gamer Legion could have players rotating in. Even though it was some weak weapons, it was also the AWP of Acor that arrived. And he was able to get active enough. He saw the force that he had to go for behind that utility, but it works for him. And in this one, still a solid buy for FaZe. Brokey has now got that AWP in his hands. Harrigan's had to go down to a P250. See That's a shame. how aggressive he gets. Oh, good shot again, Acor. Acor delivering. That's a gun for Carrigan, perhaps. Ouch. Bit of molly damage there for Brokey up top. Oh, that He's nade looks angle. good. He's lost his angle, though. Great nade. Waits for the flash before he goes in. Brokey has a look. Carrigan dropped. Then there were three for FaZe. They don't really have much money either. That doesn't mean they're going to lose the next round, though. We know what they're capable of with pistols. But what are Gamer Legion capable of? In the vacuum of IEM Sydney, what is their ceiling? Unknown for now. Five on two. These weapons could be important in the rounds to come. We'll see what happens. Bomb's been lost. <laughs> Snacks Ooh. with quite the airtime. Congratulations from Brokey. He's 23 for 8 now. He has been explosive, but again, Acor has been so important. He had to be, and he has been in these games. Watching the uh, co-stream from Taz, he spoke very highly. He thinks Acor's massively underrated. One of the fastest snipers in the game. Gamer Legion grinding back then. And the last two maps between these teams, the last times they've played on record, both maps have gone to overtime. One of them here at Sydney ended 1915 in favor of Gamer Legion once it hit overtime. 1915 sounds like a CSGO scoreline, but. CS2 with the overtimes. Again, Acor has been so much better in this second half. Nice. Yeah, you've got to deliver on that CT side with the angles, depending on the map. Oh man, this money's awkward for FaZe. They're saving, but two of their players with a hundred bucks. That's not going to put them on the same page yet. Depending on the map, it could be quite challenging on the T side, but we see Brokey with the hero sniper for this round. Yes, there is an AK from Rocks, but really he's got to be the man to deliver. You see the information men going in first for FaZe, getting the info for the big guns to come, but nothing doing. What <laughs> Snacks has got the USP. That's all he's got. Brokey hits one. Brokey had the chance for more, but I think he is in trouble now. Falls back. So many players. A second shot careful, lands. Careful, 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 careful. The man's got a minute. Do not get carried away chasing Brokey. I like the He reload. loves this style. Battle sniping and chaos is his bread and butter. Do not throw this round away. It is still game point to phase, and he'll win it if you give him a chance. Especially not to lose the map would be so, so, so brutal. This will be a hard angle to clear, though. Ooh, base the shots that Kios delivers. 12 11. And remember, that phase economy was a little awkward. A couple of the players will not have the guns they want here. Looks like two AKs, a Galil, and probably some pistols in there for FaZe. Gamer Legion were facing 
a loss on their map pick, but they've put three rounds in a row together. And now they need one more to take it to overtime. Can FaZe dig deep with an awkward buy? We're about to find out. They have enough util to create opportunity. Kios refuses to be deterred from the shenanigans. Love the confidence. Akor has a nade in hand this time. Oh, he's just switched away from it. They'll smoke it again instead. Let's run it back a third time, says Kios. It's going deeper. So Isaac is spraying from further away to suggest that no one is close. And this bait might work out wonderfully. He finds two and he's got info on Carrigan as well. A simple play from Game Allegiant could certainly help them to overtime. Folk's got a good angle as well. Not a guarantee though. Oh, the shadow is so good, but he doesn't finish off rain. Talking about fast fragging. That was quite a snap from him. Three on three. Now it becomes very nervous. Game Allegiant is so far back. They've got almost zero info. Akor with the AWP holding down mid from Donut, but apart from that, it is guesswork. A single smoke for FaZe, though, so they can't smoke off both sides here. That could be a problem for them. Snacks has an incendiary. That could really be ruinous for a bomb plant here. There's the deployment. Carrigan pressing forward. That's a huge frag. So much space created. Isaac tried to find an angle. Broke you down to half health. They might lose it here, Gamer Legion. Such an awkward peak, the Shadow, but he still delivers with the pre-fire, Isaac. They've both got kits. No smokes for this choke point. Rain's gone for a very brazen flank. Brokey will be depended on. He's missed the angles, though. Knife out, he's got to go quietly. This clock is ticking, and he is so close. He could ruin this for them, and he probably will. Great trigger discipline. Isaac in a 1v2. He's not going to find these frags in time. Brokey swings first. Does he hold it? Does he hold it? He has to. He's got no choice. Rain is running to get there in time. And he will.